This is a video demo showing how to palpate the bony landmarks on the scapula. The demo is on right side. There are three borders, three angles and three fossae on the scapula. Let's palpate the borders first. It is easier to locate the medial border when you put your patient's forearm on low back. The medial border of scapula is sticking out now. Palpate along the whole medial border inferiorly. Which muscles are attached on it? Correct. It's rhomboids and serratus anterior. From the most inferior pointy part of scapula, palpate along the lateral border of the scapula superiorly and toward the axilla. Don't forget to get an extra consent before you palpate into the axilla. There are two muscles attached onto the lateral border. What are those muscles? Yes. Teres major and minor. With a specific consent, keep palpating along the lateral border and curl underneath the overlying muscles and locate the most superior aspect of it. That is the infraglenoid tubercle. It is not easy to distinguish clearly due to the surrounding tissue and its small size. The infraglenoid tubercle is an attachment site for a muscle. What is it? Correct. It is for the long head of triceps muscle. Go back to the medial border. Palpate along superiorly now to the pointy part and pass the peak and palpate along the superior border laterally. It is a bit challenging because it is deep to the thick muscle, trapezius. If you are able to locate all borders, then it is easy to feel for the angles. Locate the medial border again, and palpate along inferiorly. The most inferior part of it before moving on to the lateral border is the inferior angle. Where the medial border meets the superior border is the superior angle. Try to palpate the pointy top part through the trapezius. The medial angle is on the medial border. You may notice that the medial border is not a straight line structure. It has a triangular part at the medial end of the spine of scapula, which is the medial angle of scapula. Palpate along the spine of scapula medially. Where it meets the medial border is the medial angle, also known as the root of spine of scapula. Two fossae are on the posterior aspect of scapula. One is superior to the spine of scapula so it is called supraspinous fossa where the supraspinatus muscle sits. The other fossa is inferior to the spine of scapula. It is called the infraspinous fossa and you can palpate the infraspinatus. Palpate along the spine of scapula from its root laterally. You can locate the tubercle of spine of scapula. It is lateral to the root and on more on the inferior part of spine where the deltoid muscle begins to be attached onto the spine. Keep palpating along the spine and you end up being on the acromion, which is the part projecting over the head of the humerus. The other fossa is on the anterior surface of scapula which is called subscapular fossa and it is for subscapularis muscle. The fossa is a bit challenging to palpate due to the narrow space between the rib cage and the scapula. Have your patient in supine or side lying. Hold onto the arm and have your patient relaxed and abduct the arm so that you can pull out the scapula along with the motion. You should get a specific consent to palpate the fossa because you are about to palpate into the armpit and also it may create some discomfort and tickles. After getting a consent, Try to palpate the fossa with flat, broad hand. It may be easier to push into with your ulnar border of hand than with tip of fingers. On the anterior aspect of scapula, there is the coracoid process. Palpate the acromion and move medially onto the medial end of clavicle. And palpate inferiorly about an inch. To confirm that you are on the coracoid process, not on the lesser tubercle, you can rotate the arm laterally and medially. If your finger stays still in the bony structure, you are on the coracoid process. If your finger move along with the motion, you are most likely on the lesser tubercle. But, be careful to move the arm into only medial and lateral rotation. If you move the arm into abduction with the rotation, even though you are on the coracoid process, you may feel the rotatory movement of the bony landmark. This was the palpation of the bony landmarks on the scapula. Thank you for watching.